everybody, welcome to this episode. I think this is episode nine on uh, Grounded. And uh, this has been a question I've seen all over the place, and basically I'm just trying to answer what the left button on Xbox, or in my case on PC, what the control actually does when you're building stuff. So initially I thought uh, it just snaps to the world grid, but as you can see I'm holding it now, and it doesn't do that. Uh, and then if you hold it when you're building stuff, you would think, oh, maybe it just snaps to make it an easier square, but no, this is me not holding it, and it does exactly the same thing. Uh, so, what I found that it actually does, because um, I've tried it with every item available. Let me see if it actually does anything with this one. No. Um, so, I've done it with everything in it, and it only actually seems to work with items. And so, this is a good example of what it does here. So, if, if you're trying to play something like here, but you want it to be as even and you can't seem to get it the way that you want it, you just hold control and then it'll center whatever item it is. I think the icon should be a little different because it, give, it gives the idea that it's a grid and it's technically snapping to the grid, but it, if it just said something like center or something like that, because that, that's effectively what it does. It centers it, it'll do it in the half spots um, or any edge. But it's in the edge on the middle, it's not like on a corner or something like that, and it just snaps right to the middle of everything. Um, and that's basically all that it does. Um, I can't find another use for it. And like I said, it'll just snap to the middle. The only time you can kind of rig it a little bit, uh, I found, is like down here. Uh, it'll, it thinks that something attached to... Even if there's no flooring, it thinks it's still attached to the floor, so you can kind of fidget with it a little bit there and make it snap. Uh, like that there, too. So, yeah, that's that's effectively it. That's all it does. I can't find any other use for it. I thought maybe... Let me try it on the wall here, too, and with this guy and see if it does anything with that. Because that's the one thing I haven't tried yet. Ugh. I don't think it'll do, maybe it'll do the same thing, but I don't actually know. Alright. No. So it only works with floor items on the floor and on proper floors. And that's that. Um, one other thing I'll show you real fast that I just found out too. Just, it just you know. So this is obviously not the ideal way to make stairs. Because you can't really go down them easily. Um, but So what I found is if you put a staircase... Uh, or I think I did it actually backwards. I think I put a scaffolding first and then put a stairs on it and then put stairs here. Yeah, and then you go about halfway and then you don't need floors anymore. This is a bad example because it's, it's, yeah, you don't need the, the next set of floor. You just have to put it like halfway through. It's not ideal. Um, but if you're just trying to get somewhere, it saves a bit of resource because you don't have to put a floor and then a stair, then a floor, then a stair. Um, it, you know, you can just do it like that kind of haphazardly. I wonder if, though... Yeah, so if you take out that um, scaffolding, it will it will delete the whole thing. So, good to know. But yeah, like I said, this is basically just to go over what control does because I keep seeing the question and I didn't really know either. I was trying to figure it out. And that's that. As far as I can tell... It only does it only does items on floors and that's it so thanks for watching guys